Um, Steady, a really strong Zero Suit main, uh, Nitro, who we spoke about earlier, and plenty of more to come. But we got game number one between Fonzie and Copter. Starting off on Smashville, this is Edmund and Arcastor on the mic. I, and we are going to see Copter's Snake coming out here. I do like the pick. You know, he can be very, you know, evasive play around the Yoshi hitboxes. This is a character that is really strong out in this game. Yeah, and I do just see some people asking, uh, K9 still out here. I believe K9 he actually moved like m like moved back at least for like a uh, indefinite amount of time. Yeah, he definitely is designed here now. All right, got to be careful with the C4 on the ground there. That's always going to be really really tricky. Uh, Snake's main gameplay is he's going to be able to layer projectiles. Uh, I'm not really too sure about this matchup, but one thing that uh, Yoshi has going for him is the fact that he. Actually, is really heavy, <laughs> so yeah. he, he's going to be able to live a little bit longer. 130%. He may not be in total danger of dying. Maybe to that up tilt, oh, definitely. definitely. To the, yeah. up tilt. the forward Ooh. tilt as well. It looked like that wasn't the best DI on it. Yeah. He definitely kind of went straight out. But I mean, it definitely was one of those things that came out super fast. You well, know, 77% on Copter. He's doing really strong. He recovers high. Fonzie Wait. trying to get him with these eggs. He's thinking <laughs> himself. <laughs> Oh, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks, but we're at, at two stocks apiece. Call it an even game. I, I want to make fun of him because I was making <laughs> fun of him for doing that earlier, too. All right, C4 is at the ledge. Something to look out for. We'll see if uh, Fonzie remembers that. Um, the uh, sh the signs of a really like great snake player is that... Um, according, to, according to Copter himself, you're not a real snake player unless you've blown yourself and, uh, up yeah, and lost true. It's, it's, it gets, it has to happen. That's yeah, a rite of passage. Exactly. You're, you know, like... And uh, I think the C4 has already gone. He, uh, he might have detonated. It does explode after a certain amount of time as well. So if you don't detonate it yourself, it will go away. Fonzie looking really clean on this comeback. He's still trailing in percentage a bit, 104 to 74, so a whole 30. Ooh, up to gonna scoop him up from under the egg right there, actually. Yeah, and again, uh, Yoshi showing just how heavy he is. All right, try to get a tech chase read. I like it. He had the C4 behind him with forced Fonzie to roll back into the ledge, which I'm surprised that Copter didn't recognize and just go for like a, a, a dash he, attack or... He needed one pummel yeah, for that to kill. That's true. Let's see if he recognizes right there. Oh, okay. Up tilt from Fonzie. I like the use of the C4, but Fonzie pulled back just in time so he didn't get caught with it. 170 right now onto this Yoshi. Dash attack from Fonzie, and he connects oh, into the up air. <laughs> <laughs> It oh traded my with god. With the snake grenade going to kill him off the top. That is insane. Down to our last stock. I mean, pretty much those uh first two spaghetti uh, first two spaghetti stocks from both players, so we're, we're playing a one stock game. Uh, that's what it is. Yeah, you know, you know, getting the nerves out now. Yeah, the C4 uh on the f floor right there really prevented Fonzie from really like approaching properly cuz uh, if he is to walk over that C4, he can detonate it, and then uh, Copter tossing all these uh, grenades up onto the platform. So this is actually a, a really nice stage for Copter, if I do say so. Yeah, definitely one of those stages that it's making it hard for Fonzie to approach him while he's under that Smashville platform. He yeah. can kind of just set up camp under there. Yeah, you could also just like uh, drop the grenades on there or, or have the C4 on there and it just makes the platform pretty much unavailable. And with the C4 on the platform, it also explodes. Uh, the, the explosion hitbox it actually hits, hits on the platform and below. 84 to 88%. We got a dead even game between these two players. Both of them just kind of swinging for the hills, not really playing super reserved. But definitely in a in a manner that they they recognize each other's uh, kill options, it's definitely showing a lot of respect. Yeah, I mean this is one of those situations where either player can start to run away with it. Now, F2 one into the forward throw actually just gonna catch him try and run away. Oh no, he did it again! <laughs> oh no, I can't believe it, dude. <laughs> he did it twice. Uh. <laughs> Fonzie, Fonzie's like, yep. I mean, I'll take it. I'm I the guess. best. <laughs> I'm the best. I'm Baited. <laughs> you, you ain't getting a ride home, man. <laughs> and yes, Arrow, this is uh, Copter 
From the UK, London specifically, I, I believe. Yeah. yeah. So. Right, so he's actually switching to the Inkling All off right. of the Snake. I kind of disagree. I feel like this matchup can be difficult for Inkling. All right, but he got the color color counter pick. Pink Yoshi, pink Inkling. So we're not going to really be able to tell so much when the ink is on there. I think we will, but it's it makes it a little bit trickier. Yeah. And one thing I want to point out is why this matchup is difficult is actually because Inkling's, you know, go-to kill option, the up throw up here, does not work on Yoshi. Ah, At any percent where you true. can kill, Yoshi is able to double jump out of it. Yeah, the double jump, having that super armor, it's a really uh, strong combo breaking tool in uh, most matchups. Yeah, this is definitely one of them. I, if The other thing is it can be really difficult for Inkling to approach through the barrage of eggs, but Fonzie not necessarily a player to go for it. All right, he gets the grab right here, up throw, and there's yeah. that double jump to it. get out of the up air. Just throw him off stage and reset. You cannot do it to Yoshi. Ooh, okay, I like the second neutral air just in time to beat out that forward smash attempt from Fonzie. And 108% for Fonzie here. Uh, looking kind of similar to that first match. That forward smash not going to be enough to do the trick. Yeah, it definitely looked like it was, but great DI from Kato. Great dash up into the forward smash. Catches him trying to land. And that's right, Dragon Slayer. Thank you for the correction. It does have heavy armor, not super armor. The uh, difference being that he takes... Uh, the difference between heavy armor and super armor is that he takes... Uh, he takes the damage, but not the knockback. No. I, right? No, I think um, the difference is you, it's easier to, like, break, I believe. Can you break that, then? I'm pretty sure it's super armor. Right? Doesn't Yoshi have super armor no, on his double can, dump? You can break... You can break uh, Yoshi's. I've super never armor. seen. I've never seen right. people break uh, Yoshi's double jump. That's crazy. I mean, I haven't seen it that much in this game. I know. I definitely knew it about. It could have changed in this game, but it was definitely like that in Smash Four. Damn, I never saw that. Uh, but I'm not familiar enough with Yoshi at this time. Yoshi is fat, guys. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, chat, for backing me up on yeah, that one. Yeah, he heavy armor is breakable. Subtractive armor. All right, I don't know if that's real. <laughs> it might be. Uh. I'll go study up on, on the armors. Yeah, definitely. I, I, uh, I usually just go default to calling it armor because I'm like, you know, that, that yeah, covers all of, them, of it. You know? <laughs> it covers all of it. Dang, I'm, I'm still tripping out. Anyways, we'll talk about that later. Yeah, 93% on Fonzie's second stock and Compter, uh also on a second stock. He's doing a really good job with the inkling so far. Yeah, they're both, he's playing very reserved in this matchup, not over committing to anything in front of Yoshi. But as I say that, he gets punished for that forward smash. Great combo right there, covering the rolling with the egg and then following it up as well. Hundred and fifteen. Yeah, Fonzie really playing slow and steady, spacing out his hitboxes as best as he can. Um, and that's gonna be crucial against uh, Inkling as well, since he doesn't have she in this case doesn't have the most range outside of uh, her projectiles. Yeah, back air is actually surprisingly big as well. Yeah. And I believe that's disjointed too, so really good news. Oh, great forward air there from Fonzie, though, answering right back. Copter and Fonzie on their last stock here. Fonzie sitting up 1 0. He only needs one more stock to end this, but can Copter bring it back and take us to a game three? Now down to our last talk right here, Fonzie with the forward air, getting at the sour hit, not gonna connect into that spike. He sh uh, Copter should have been able to live the forward air in, in case of uh, the spike, but it would have been a really scary situation. Actually, you al there's always the threat of the not, double dip as well. I'm not sure actually, just because he did catch Copter out of his double jump with that forward air. I, I just kind of assumed that the uh, super jump from uh, Inkling goes far enough, Possibly. like it would have gone far enough. It, Definitely. If it didn't outright kill, like I think, I think he would have made it back. But hey, here we are, 103 percent. No, he, no, no, no. He does have his double jump, so he is still alive. Bonzi looking at close oh it God. out with that forward smash, not gonna find it. Near outer shield, he catches the jump with the forward air. He catches the landing with that up smash as well, and he will take this 2-0 for Copter. Uh, All right, he, he takes it one and a half because Copter <laughs> took two of his own stocks in that first game. Yeah, that's nuts.